Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube class. In this video, we will see how do we find the length of the string without using the built-in functions. Now, what is the length of the string? Length of the string is number of characters in the string except the null character. That means we are not going to count the null character. Now, how many characters are there in this string India? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But we do not count the null character. Therefore, the string length is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Hence, the string length of string str is uh, str which is storing India is 5. Now, how do we find the string length? That means we go on count till we find the null character. We go on counting till we find the null character. Initially, we say the value of count is 0 because we start from 0. And the index will also start from 0. Hence, I say i is also equal to 0. We go on counting it till it finds the null character. Therefore, what shall I write over here? While str of i is not equal null character. Not equal null character writing is optional in case of C programming language. Because str of 0 is i, the ASCII value of i will be taken, which is non-zero. Therefore, it is true. Now, if it is true, that means you are counting one character. That means the string length has to be at least one. Hence, what do I write over here? I say C++, the value of C will become one. Next time you want to check for the next character, did you reach the null character or not? Therefore, what do I write over here? I say I++, I say I++, the value of I will become one. Go back, str of 1 means n. The ASCII value of n is non-zero. Therefore, it is taken to be true. And if it is true, execute the body of the while loop. And we say C++, C becomes 2. I++, I also becomes 2. Go back, str of 2 is d. The ASCII value of d is 69, 68. Non-zero, therefore it is true. Hence, you say C++, the value of C will become 3. I++, the value of I will become 3. Go back, str of 3 is i, not equal to null character, yes, the ASCII value of i is not 0, hence you say c++, the value of c will become 4, again i++, i becomes 4. Go back, str of 4 is a, ASCII value of a is 65, non-zero number, true, hence you say c++, 5, again you say i++, 5. Go back, str of 5 is null character, the ASCII value of null is 0, 0 is false, you come out of this loop and in which variable answer is stored? Answer is stored both in C and in I. Hence, what I can write over here? I can say return C or I can say return I because the value of I is equal to C. I and C are moving with the same pace. Now. If I am saying return i, is there any need of c for me over here? There is no need of c and this becomes the loop to find the length of the string without using the built-in function. What we do? We go on traversing the string till we find the null character. I hope you have understood this. Please pause the video over here and try to write down the function to find the length of the string yourself. Thank you. Let us see how do we write the code for the function string length. Uh, we say main, now we need a string over here. Let's say character because a string is an array of characters and you can give any character array name. Let me say str, you can give a, b, c, s1 or something of I say 100. You can give any size that you like. Now, as soon as you do this, what will happen? This is the main scope. In the main scope, a variable is created. Now, what is the variable name? The variable name is str. And how many indices it has? It has how many values we can store? 100 values 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on up to 99. And let us assume the base address to be 1000. This is 1001, 1002. 1003, 1004, 1005 and so on and so on and we need to read the string. How do I read this string? I say printf enter string and I write here enter string and how do we read it? We use scanf function scanf 
and the format specifier for string is percentage yes comma str suppose i enter str string as india what will be stored here i n d i a and the null character and the null character this is how it will be stored now i want to find the length of the string india which is 5 because we count except the null character for this let us write one function called as string length there is a built-in function as well which i am going to discuss after writing this code i say string length of which string i want to find str now say me what is str str is an array and how does the arrays are passed to the functions arrays are passed to the functions by array name arrays are passed to the functions by array name and whenever arrays are passed the base address gets passed not the complete array now say me what should be the return type of string length now what can be the return type what is the string length 1 2 3 4 5 the length of the string india is 5 that means a function can return only one value and here it is only one answer therefore a function can return the answer and 5 is of what data type integer data type string length may be 5 10 50 100 200 0 or something and what is the function name i have taken over here the function name we have taken over here is the string length and what is the first parameter str and str is a four data type character one dimensional array therefore what shall i write over here character one dimensional array is that okay now we need to implement this we say int what is the function name the function name is a string length what is the first parameter the first parameter is character one dimensional array and you give a bracket but the parameter names are mandatory let me give the parameter name as str only you can give any parameter name it doesn't matter now as soon as you call the function the scope of the function gets activated now this is string length function there is one parameter called as str right and uh, let the address of this be say 0x9000 you can assume any address of your choice because it is randomly allocated whenever arrays are passed to the functions the base address gets passed not the complete array now what is the base address here the base address is 1000 1000 gets passed 1000 gets passed is that okay now we need to find the length of the string and we start counting from the index 0 already i explained the logic hence we write int i is equal 0 till how long i should do it till we reach the null character while what is the array name over here it is str hence we say while str of i is not equal to null character yes sir then what i need to do over here i just have to say i plus plus I just have to say i plus plus okay now how does it works we will see what is str of i in pointer notation this is equal to star str plus i we know this here i can write str of i or what you can write ah yes or, or what you can write over here you can say star str plus i that's your choice you can write character one dimensional array or what you can write character star str why you can write character star str because array name is a base address address means pointer address can be stored in pointer therefore you can write character star str as well now str of i is star str plus i now this is pointer pointer plus integer what will happen the scaling factor will happen the pointer arithmetic will happen scaling factor now what does the scaling factor will do it will say star str plus i into d it will say star str plus i into d now what is d d is the size of array data type now str of 0 directly i am going to write what does the compiler will do star str plus 0 into d now say me what is the value of str in this function it is 1000 plus 0 into d is size of array data type now what is the data type of array it is character it is 1 this is star 1000 this is star 1000 therefore it gets replaced by star 1000 star 1000 is nothing but go to address 1000 and fetch the value which is i the ascii value of i is 73 not 0 
therefore it will execute i plus plus the value of i in this function will become 1 go back str of 1 now what is str of 1 is equal to 1000 plus 1 into 1 because this is i into d 1000 plus 1 into 1 now what is 1000 plus 1 into 1 star 1001 it means go to address 1001 and fetch the value it is n the ascii value of n is 79 not null true therefore it says i plus plus the value of i will become 2 go back str of 2 now what is str of 2 1000 plus 2 into d is nothing but 1002 star 1002 is d the ascii value of d is 68 it is true therefore execute i plus plus the value of i will become 3 mind you we are in string length function and we are accessing the values of main because arrays are passed by reference now again you say i plus plus 3 now what is str of 3 it is 1000 plus 3 into 1 is nothing but star 1003 and what is star 1003 again it is i not null not zero therefore you say i plus plus the value of i will become four now again you say str of four now what is str of four thousand plus four into one is star thousand four now what is star thousand four it is a ask the value of a is 65 not null true therefore again you say i plus plus the value of i will become 5 now let us say what is str of 5 is equal to 1000 plus 5 into 1 is star 1005 and what is star 1005 it is null null means 0 0 is false you come out now in which variable answer is stored the string length it is in i therefore after i come out of this loop we say return i we say return i now the value of i is 5 5 will be returned to the point from wherever it is being called this is the point from where it is being called and let us store it in some variable called as el now the value of l will be 5 i declare a variable l and we say printf percentage d comma l comma l the string length is 5 and you may say return 0 and stop the procedure this is how we find the length of the string without using the built-in functions now please pause the video over here and make a note of the same then we will see how we can use the built-in functions and which header file we should use it in order to get the length of the string let us see how do we use the built-in function to find the length of the string now the built-in function built-in function is the functions provided by the compiler now whatever we have written previously the string length string length -E was the user defined function that we have written it is a built-in function given by the compiler and what is the function name strlen all in lower case it finds the length of the string and it is available in string.h as i said power function it is available in math.h strlen is available in string.h now what is strlen str means string len means length now let us say str of 100 uh, you declare uh, you create a string of length 100 we say enter string let the string be say india and int l is equal to how do we find the string length we say str len of str that's it we say str len of str str len all in lower case now it will give the string length as 5 the value of l will be 5 and we are printing it now if i use str len it becomes essential for us to include one more header file and what is that header file name the header file name is string.h the header file name is string.h because str len is defined and implemented in string.h now what will be the prototype of str len it is int prototype means how it is defined in string.h what is the function name str len actually it is unsigned int and unsigned int is represented by size underscore t now why it is size underscore t because the length of the string cannot be negative size underscore t is nothing but unsigned integer is nothing but unsigned integer and what is unsigned integer it can only store zero and positive values it cannot store the negative values now the function name is str len and what is this str it is character one dimensional array therefore it is being written as 
char star it is being written as char star it is one dimensional array and we are using const over here because we do not want the function strlen to modify strlen doesn't modifies this therefore the pointer is taken to be constant over here this is how the function the built in function is defined in string dot h again i am saying the previous thing that we have written was a user defined function without using the built in function now this is using the built in function given by the compiler available in string dot h and directly we can say strlen of str and we print the value of l and whenever you say built in function you have to write string dot h thank you friends for watching this video please like this video subscribe to my channel and share the channel with your friends thank you